Great teams. What drama here. And Seaman, what a magnificent save. Not good. Tuffle's got him. No way. Oh, dear. Hello and welcome to They Think It's All Over with David and Rory at a European 400 metre gold medalist who studied architecture at college. In fact, at this summer's Olympics in Athens, he'll be carrying the hopes of a nation. The Greeks are hoping that he'll build them a stadium. It's Jamie Balch. <laughs> With Phil and Jonathan is a Welsh rugby legend who, when he was growing up, wanted to be the best tennis player in Wales. And despite not having picked up a racket since then, he is. It's Scott Gibbs. <laughs> now, before we start, the more observant of you will have noticed that we're unusually dressed, and that's because it's the last show of the series, and Jonathan has insisted on styling us. OK, Jonathan, explain. Well, explain. I'll tell you why. I'm sitting here, surrounded by a bunch of people dressed like off-duty policemen. <laughs> um, so this week I've gone, I've dug in my own wardrobe and I've come up with a look which I think suits everyone. Everyone's joined in, apart from David, of course, who's just come in his weekend gear. <laughs> <laughs> But you like it, don't you? Not, I like he it. He does like it. He's, he's, he's not, he really looks wild. Wait, I've seen what's under your skirt, mate. <laughs> you see, it started already, you see? <laughs> anyway, as this is supposed to be a sports quiz, perhaps we should ask some questions. So, David, Rory and Jamie, it's a footballing spat for you. Take a look at this. Here's teenage prodigy Wayne Rooney hitting the back of the net for England. But how has Everton's own friend of the buffet upset West End impresario and club chairman Bill Kenwright, David's team? First of all, a big welcome to Jamie. Jamie, Jamie. welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Thank you Been on the show before. There's not many people who have the head cloud before coming on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I like Thanks. your hair. For me, you look like a fun-sized Jordan. <laughs> You speak Welsh, Jim? Ah, uh, not at all. This boy can speak Welsh. What, what, yeah, a little what's, bit what's, of Welsh. What's, what's Welsh for tosser? <laughs> uh, I think the correct pronunciation is... Clave Woodward. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, doesn't Rory look splendid, ladies? He does, actually. Doesn't he look great? <laughs> he does. He does. He does. He does. I think I should, you know, explain it is Rory, because there's people who have just tuned in and said, what's Lisa Wiley doing on this? <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, what's the question, Nick? Forgot it. Uh, the question was, how has Wayne Rooney fallen out with Bill Kenwright? Wayne Rooney. <laughs> Trial of Prodigy. I remember his <laughs> debut in the Premiership. He was about 15 and a half or something. He came on with his first kick of the game. It was a 30-yard shot that arrowed into the top right-hand corner <laughs> of a net guarded by some doddering, flapping, <laughs> useless... <laughs> what do you mean, doddering? <laughs> what were you doing that day? I was launching his career. Oh, was... <laughs> Is it something to do with, um, balls? <laughs> because I've had a bit of a problem at Everton before, and, um, it's to do with the kicking in balls. Right. And he keeps kicking them into the crowd and they don't want to throw them back. Right. So what problem did you have there, then? Uh, it was time, like, for the kick-off, so I've got this ball that we're warming up, and I've just booted it into the crowd. Anyway, it's gone straight at this guy, and it's smacked him straight in the face, full on. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's got specs on, his specs have gone all over the place. And anyway, he's only told the police, hasn't he? It says that he wants to sue me. So anyway, a couple of days later, the police have been on the phone and everything, saying that, look, you know, I just pay the, the guy's bill and, uh, and, we'll, and we'll drop it. But I said, well, if he had glasses on, surely he could have seen it coming. <laughs> <laughs> did you pay his bill? <laughs> yes, I did. You did. He probably wouldn't have sued if he'd have known it was you, the actual goalie, but dressed for that, he probably thought the Freddie Mercury Tribute Act hadn't <laughs> left. <laughs> Either way, you've done well. You get three points. Thank you.
fact, it is all down to balls. Rooney kicks dozens of them into the stands during his pre-match warm-up. The fans keep them, and the club reckon it's cost them almost 4,000 quid over the past six games. Wayne Rooney's mum is a dinner lady. On an average day, she dishes out hundreds of meals, and then she goes to work. <laughs> Wayne Rooney first played football for a pub team at the age of seven. A pub team for seven-year-olds. How scouse is that? <laughs> Phil, Jonathan and Scott, it's a rugby spat for you. Have a look at this. Here's England's World Cup winning scrum half, Matt Dawson, doing what he does best. But an unfortunate incident on tour caused the chippy number nine to fall out with his own team, the Barbarians. So what happened to him, Bill's team? Hey, uh, our younger viewers might not know this, but Wales once beat England at rugby. Isn't that right? true. <laughs> 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 a long time ago. Scott scored I was there. I was you there. You scored yeah. it, didn't you? you just we around. were going to use the footage, but apparently it was destroyed during the Blitz. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I read a little bit. You play uh, rugby. Rugby. Oh. And... <laughs> So what's this team we're looking at here, the Barbarians? Are they any good? The Barbarians, they're, they're an international select invitational uh, side and it's all about the, you know, the great bastion of rugby, booze, so, babes and benders. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> throw it on the bender. I love the name Barbarians. Isn't that a great name for a team? That's what you want for a sporting team. You want a name like that, Barbarians? It fills you with fear and awe. It hints of the glory to come. You know these are men who are going to go up. They are going to take no quarter. They're going to ask no mercy. You didn't As opposed to when you used to walk out and play tennis. It was like S Club 11 on the field, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> tennis. Play tennis? <laughs> well, remind me, what did you do again? <laughs> no, I think it was tennis. I came right? to your career late. I only really caught the jungle period. <laughs> Hey. Uh, so what happens on tour? You have the thing called the initiation where you do some stupid uh, weird dare. things. Dares, yeah. dares. We did have a few initiations actually. One was when well, we. For, this is for your tennis buddy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we had the kiss the sheep, which we got sheep's heads. Uh, where from? I don't know. Then you get two sheep's heads, and uh, when you win, all the boys have got to go round, and the sheep's got its mouth open and its tongue out, and you've all got to go round and give them a, like, a French kiss. So, oh. so this is when you win, so presumably you never knew what happened. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been great fun. Going on tour, going on, like, you know, with the, with, with the team for the company, it must have been, like, the most fun ever. 16 airy ass blokes away for four months and getting some funny positions, I tell you. <laughs> There's always a golden rule. What well, happens on tour stays on tour. Yeah. I think you know that there's a little initiation thing going on here, isn't there? Yeah, I think I think this is something to do with a cactus and another hairy ass uh, uh, guy. I don't know whether Matt Dawson banged a copper or was he a <laughs> copper or former copper. He debagged him and shoved a cactus up his ass. That's correct. Answer for three points. Well done. <laughs> In fact, it is all down to a Welshman and a cactus. Mac Dawson was in the Barbarian squad of 1994, and as the junior member of the team, he was subject to a kangaroo court. This involved six foot ten inch Welshman Derwin Jones thrashing him on his bare backside with a giant cactus. It's <laughs> when Dawson has refused to play for the Barbarians. A similar ritual happened after England won the World Cup. The entire squad ripped off Johnny Wilkinson's shorts, bared his arse, and basked in the sun shining out of it. <laughs> Following the World Cup, all the England squad are cashing in by writing autobiographies. Matt Dawson's upset quite a few people in rugby with his autobiography, Nine Lives. Not least, a furious Mike Cat, who's now stuck for a title. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of that round, Phil's team have three points and David's team three points. Oh, Of course, the Six Nations Championship is in full swing at the moment, and on the opening weekend, we were amazed to see a try being scored by someone who looked horribly familiar. They claim that's prop Adam Jones, but we reckon Rory's obviously spent so much time bothering sheep in Wales, he's now qualified to play for them. <laughs> 
Time to find out what's been happening in the lives of Britain's royal family now as we play the David Beckham Challenge. A point for each question you get right. David's team, you're up first, OK. What did a bespectacled Spanish girl do to David Beckham just before Real Madrid's cup tie with Sevilla? She said, if you see David Seaman, you bloody kick the ball and smash my face. <laughs> 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 Come on, I have to hurry. Um, just jumped on his back or...? Yeah, that's right, yes, yeah. yes, broke through security barriers and jumped uh, on his mat. One you've point. met David Beckham, haven't you? Yeah, have you, no. uh, you met him at that blind hairdresser's, didn't you? <laughs> 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 didn't you beat him in some competitions? Yeah, um, at the end of last year, Radio 1, I won the best hairstyle of the year. He came second, so, uh, yeah, he, yeah, he got ripped. Who the hell was, was voting? I know, I know. I, I think it was Don King was the, uh, the guy. Oh, <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> OK, next question. How has Beckham recently become huge in America? It was on the Wayne Rooney diet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's naughty, that. <laughs> <laughs> naughty? <laughs> but it must have been a statue it's or a, a poster. A, a photo or...? Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. A 12-storey poster of him has been plastered over the Hyatt Hotel on Hollywood Sunset Boulevard under the meaningless slogan, Impossible is Nothing. OK, last one. What did the Beckhams buy last week from a Madrid pet shop? A lead for Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> Or some cat litter for her latest album. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met her as well, Posh? Um, yeah, I did. She Have you? Yeah, she's, she's kind of cool, yeah, she's all she's right. A bit boring, but... Uh, You're kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> no, she's Horrible right. thing to say about her. No, she's... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I have to hurry. No, it's okay. Is it a dog or a, uh, was it a Sharpe or a Sharpe? Sharpe, yes, Sharpe. it was a Sharpe dog and something else. And, I know what the other one was. Tortoises. Tortoises. She bought a Sharpe dog for themselves <laughs> and some tortoises for the kids. Obviously, so they could tell which one was which, they painted the names on the back. They still got it wrong. Brooklyn's the taller one. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Phil's questions now. David Beckham was asked to ride a scooter for a TV advert but was not able to do so. Why can't Beckham ride a bike? Didn't have any stabilizers on it. <laughs> it's because he wanted to, but he couldn't fill in BMX. He couldn't spell it on the fault. <laughs> um, it didn't have a bring bring and a hoo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> do, you mean, do you mean a bell and a hooter? <laughs> <laughs> any other words you need? <laughs> just ask. Me. <laughs> He Come couldn't on. get insurance. He couldn't get insurance, he's correct. It's insurance serious. would have been several, several million pounds, apparently, for a single day. Yeah. Uh, Beckham recently had eight watt flown out to Madrid. Light bulbs. <laughs> eight <laughs> watt light bulbs. Yeah, eight <laughs> watt light bulbs. He can't... Because he's sick. That's right, because he won't have anything in the house that's brighter than he is. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know the answer to this one. I saw it in the newspaper. He had eight portions of pie and mash sent out from his local pie and mash shop. I'll give you that eight shop. minced beef pies from Tony's Pie and Mash Shop in Waltham Abbey, Essex. I've been there. Have you? It's good. Is it? They do good pie and mash. Really? <laughs> That's <laughs> lucky then, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> That's one. Why did Victoria Beckham pass out in her underwear at Beckingham Palace last week? Because the weight was too much for her to carry. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Had she licked the stamp and the calories were too much for her to take <laughs> in, in, in one shot? Like <laughs> they phoned up and said, you've sold a single. Yeah. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> no, I'm afraid the answer is uh, that her uh, weekly okay. home fake tan session went wrong. She inhaled some solvent and collapsed on the kitchen floor. So, at the end of that, the scores are right. Phil's team with five points and David's team with six. <laughs> Round three is photo fit. David's team, this one's for you. See if you can work out who's <laughs> in there. <laughs> Stupid hair. Well, that that looks like looks, Bex, but... It looks Bex, but it's, it's not it? as neat as Bex, is it? I think it's you know Bader Vine Zender, is it? In the middle spot. Okay. The, the, uh, the eyes, that's definitely the, the eyes of Hod. Yeah, that's the eyes of yeah. someone looking at 20,000 Southampton supporters coming towards me with baseball bats. <laughs> <laughs> Is that is the bottom bit? Is that a bloke or a woman? Yeah. Someone from your field of uh, yeah, expertise. I think it's an athlete. Yeah, um, Maria Matola, I think that is. Yeah, yeah. I need one more answer from you yet. What the hair? Yeah, I was on a TV show with him last year. I think it's a snooker player. Um, Paul, Paul Hunter. Paul. Paul, Paul, Hunter. Paul Hunter. Three points out of three. Oh. Well done. Yeah.
They were the Alice banded hair of snooker, Mr. Loverman Paul Hunter, the squinty eyes of God Botherer, Glenn Hoddle, and the mouth of Olympic 800 metre champion, Maria Matola. Glenn Hoddle has assured Southampton fans that he's a humbler man these days. In fact, if he does get the manager's job, he'll walk to work from his simple carpenter's cottage on the Isle of Wight. <laughs> Phil Steam, here's yours. See if you can work out who's in there. I've got it. <laughs> Is it Billy Piper? No. Is it? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Have I'll you seen her recently? <laughs> <laughs> I know the hair because I've played tennis with him. Oh, That's wait. Boris oh, Becker. Oh, I've played tennis with Boris Becker. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you are jealous. <laughs> I played. I was on his side. We were on the same team. We played against two other blokes. Uh, one of them was McEnroe or something. I can't remember oh. his name. But I played with McEnroe, and when I did a serve, McEnroe turned me and he went, "Good serve." Oh. <laughs> he did. Yeah. Well, later on, when I went to hit, he went, "Stop wussing around." <laughs> Van Nistelrooy's gob. Becker's head, Becker's hair. He's got a little bit of an upturned nose there, as well. Yeah, that's the eyes. clue. That's what you want to be looking for. That's yeah, the clue. Yeah, no. Is it Victoria Beckham's stunt double? No. Greg Rosetsky. Greg Rosetsky. Now, I'm going to give you two points. Let's have a look who it is. <laughs> we saw the spiky ginger hair of linen cupboard lover Boris Becker, the eyes of snouty nosed Aston Villa box David O'Leary, <laughs> and the equine jaw of unsteady <laughs> Dutch goal machine Rude van Nistelrooy. When Ruud van Nistelrooy first arrived in Manchester, he complained of feeling lonely. The forward-thinking management came up with the ideal solution. They put a goat in his stable. <laughs> Bizarrely, Boris Becker was once trapped in a hotel lift for half an hour with the three tenors. There was a tense standoff, each looking at the other nervously, before Pavarotti shouted, Quick, eat him before he shags us. <laughs> One of Boris Becker's biggest friends in tennis is Pete Sampras. Pete helped Boris through his recent personal difficulties. In return, Boris taught Pete the secret of man's red fire. <laughs> and at the end of that round, Phil's team have seven points and David's team have nine. Time for the other sportsmen. OK, David and Rory, you're up to the front first, please. Oh, we're all going to take a it. Come on. Come <laughs> <laughs> <Both> holds on. <laughs> OK. And can we have our first mystery guest, please? <laughs> OK, and your time starts now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, aye, 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 aye. There's something here, mate. Oh, hello, what's this? <laughs> oh, where have you just gone? Oh, I think that's... What's he doing? Are you pulling a pint or what? Uh, no, I don't know what I'm pulling. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got there, Dick? I've got a oh, bloke that keeps bending down. You want to be careful, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I've got... What's that he's got all Bloody hell. It's a woman holding... He's got big arms and all that. Oh, thank God that's his arm. And there's a woman over that? It's somebody having a, a bit of a... Is it oh, Fergie it's, uh, and Wenger having an argument? Nice, <laughs> 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 actually. Is it... Uh, is it... <laughs> <laughs> the world is that? <laughs> is it... I'm staying... I'm staying oh. close. <laughs> oh, Get rid of the other bloke. Go Come on, you're yeah, it's, 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 it's arm wrestling, it's isn't it? It's, yeah, it's, arm wrestling. <laughs> two of our... Is it the Brit British champion? Oh, arm higher. wrestling champion. Um, European world champion. Yeah, I'll give you three points. A world arm wrestling medalist. Well done. OK, Phil and Jonathan, it's your turn okay. now. Would you like to take your <laughs> position, please? Look at that. Look at that. It does. It suits him. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, man. OK, blow falls on. Oh, and can we have we our need second points, Phil. Yeah, mystery guest, please? OK, 
OK, and your time starts now. Ah, hold on. Hang on! Oi, hey, hey. Oh, what's hey. this? Oh. Oh, what's that? I'll tell you what, this tennis racket needs to be restrung. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> oh, is it? Are they butterfly collectors? Yeah. <laughs> Lepidopterists. <laughs> oh, I say. How long we got to get this one? Hold on. <laughs> hey, I've got, I've got, I've got some long hair here. here. Find out this one. There you go, look at that. Oh, let's have a smell. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just trying to, de oh. I'm just trying to de determine your gender. <laughs> oh, oh yes, we've got ladies. Is it? Some <laughs> yeah, we've, got we've got ladies. We've got ladies. Come on. <laughs> so anyway, listen, later on. <laughs> is it? Some sort of is it? Are they um, tadpole? Open. Tadpole hunters. Nick, <laughs> Time's running out, time's running out. Uh, lacrosse. Is it hockey, lacrosse. lacrosse. The British University lacrosse, lacrosse champions. Champion. Yes, well Ladies. done. Now, as we're all in our party clothes, we thought we should play some party games, so we're going to have another race. David, you can relax, there's no paddle cars involved, because who needs paddle cars when you've got space hoppers, tricycles and eggs and spoons? So can we have the equipment, please? All right. Now, as usual, we're going to have a Le Mans cut start, a tag changeover, and it's one lap each, OK? First of all, Jonathan and Rory, you're going to be doing the space hoppers. You go round, you then have to tag the guests. Scott here, there's your egg and spoon. And Jamie, there's your egg and spoon. Finish at the line, come back. Tag your two team captains. They are going to do the tricycles. One lap of each. So when the who to goes? Are you ready? ready. Oh, Rory. Well, <laughs> so that's another three points to David's oh, team. Sorry, well done, no, which no. means at the end of that round, that's Phil's that. team have ten points, but well, David's team have fifteen. <laughs> We're going to finish with the name game now, as this is the last show in the series. There's a trophy to play for. Uh, this trophy, in fact, a David Seaman mug. <laughs> It is the only one in existence. There were two, but Arsene Wenger dropped the other one at the end of last season. <laughs> OK, now, David's team currently lead by four shows to three, so it's all to play for. And the team in the lead goes first, which is David's team. Pass those along to Rory, please. As many names as you can in your allotted time, which starts now. I can't breathe. Um, Liverpool manager, Le, Julia, Le Sack. Yeah. Le Sack, yeah. Um, he's, uh, he's an American 400 metres runner. Um, uh, Michael Johnson. No, he's... Do he, what he uh, looks like? He looks really... Carl Lewis. Very manly, <laughs> very... Um, butch. Very butch, butch, butch. Butch. Butch Reynolds. Very good. <laughs> um, the Iceman, the non-flying Dutchman. Dennis Burke. Yeah! <laughs> All right, this is Italy's manager. Is he going to Spurs? 
Uh, first part oh. of the second name, someone who goes after beavers. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone who, you know, who, fur ca ca fur who catches animals. Um, in, in, fur uh, trapper, in catcher, trapper, 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 trapper. Trapper Tony. Ah, very oh, good. Done well. First name Italian for John. Right, um, US golfer. Who <laughs> <laughs> knows the machines you like cigarettes go. with? Lighter. Yeah. If you went, uh, one. You licked it, yeah. Well, what do you like? Uh, Burnt tongue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is, Licking the lighter. Lolly, lick, no, lick, give me that. Lick, lick lighter, yeah. Lick lighter. And first name? Yeah, Frank. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> a British distance runner of the 80s. A finger of, is, a a finger of fudge. fudge. is just enough to give your kids a treat yeah, full fudge, of fudge. Somebody yes. fudge. Same, <laughs> same, same person's name as Radcliffe. A Paula. Paula Very fudge, indeed. Uh, this is a British yachtsman. Uh, surname is the same name as the Christian name of the black guy who hosts Ready Steady Cook. Uh, Not Ainsley. 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 Somebody Ainsley. Uh, Ainsley. Think, of, think of that uh, clock in Parliament Square. Big, big ben. ben. Ben Ainsley. Oh, ben. Oh, ben. Oh, ben. This is a New Zealand sprinter. Uh, it's it's America. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Right. You need, dollar, you need 12 to win the oh, show, oh, and oh, even, yeah. then, <laughs> even the then, that only draws you level on matches. Okay? That cup is ours. OK, pass it along <laughs> to Jonathan, please. Give it here, Stokey. History tells us. Hang on. OK, your time starts now. OK, uh, second name is, uh, you know the drink they have in tennis, not Nandrolo and the other thing. Oh, what, yeah. Barley, <laughs> and who oh, makes barley it? Water. Robinson. Oh, Robinson, oh, first name is the same as the bloke the hockey mask in Friday the 13th. Jason. Jason, Jason Robinson. Yeah. Robinson. Yeah. All right, uh, second name is, when you get quite old, you get uh, to a certain... Saggy. Like semen. No, a certain... Age. 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 And the first name is, when you go to a fish and chip shop, if you have the big sausage... Gherkin. Savloy. Yeah, but a short version. Sav. Savage. OK. First Robbie name Savage. is... <laughs> <laughs> All right. First name is uh, a rugby player from Somalia. First name is the same as the Italian dictator who was... Uh, Mussolini. Yeah, Mussolini. Second name is... Um, when you go out this to children, you go, to be quiet, you go... Schuster. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> OK. In German, this is how you say you make shoes. Make shows? No, not make shows. Make a shoemaker. Michael uh, Shoe. Ralph. Uh, his brother Ralph. Ralph. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Um, all right. Uh, when this is England's number eight, and when he went through puberty, this is what happened to him. It something got bigger. It got bigger. He stick. No, Nick, and that's the word for it. But what happens when it gets bigger? It's hard on. It's no, no. <laughs> Like a little cockerel, but it's short version. Dick. Cock. And when, it, when something, you plant something and it grows. You know, grow cock. cock and first, the Danny grew cock. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, there was Roland Hardy. First name, Ollie Ann. Stan. Stan. Second name is, um, or oh, it's like... If, it's, Moore. if you don't like that something's a bit whiffy, it... Pong smells. Smells, and you take off the S and it's... Smells. Mel, and <laughs> if you say, and, or something else, Melo. Melo. This is... So, at the end of all that, Phil's team have 15, but the winner of that game, and indeed the series, is David's team with 21. Well done. Here you are. Here's your trophy. Hold it aloft. So, thanks to David, Rory and Jamie, Phil, Jonathan and Scott. My name's Nick Hancock. They think it's all over. It is now. How to lose your job in the quickest possible time. The Sack Race is on BBC Two in a few moments. Here on BBC One, more of the funniest TV ads. Jim Davidson's commercial breakdown is after the news. <laughs>